I'm Andy with the San Juan Soil and Water Conservation District in Northwest New Mexico. Over the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at watersheds and why they're so important. A watershed is simply any area of land where any water that falls on that land drains downhill to the same point, typically a river, lake, or ocean. There are sometimes they're also called drainage basins, kind of like a bathtub. Any water that falls in a bathtub is going to flow downhill because of gravity towards the drain at the bottom. So that same idea works for our watershed trailer here. Any water that falls into the trailer is going to work its way downhill towards the drain, staying inside this watershed. However, any water that falls outside the trailer is in a different watershed and it's never going to make it to the drain inside the trailer. So this trailer is an example of its own watershed. Another way to think of a watershed is by actually looking at the roof of a shed or a house. Now the peak of that house or shed is dividing the water that falls on it into two separate watersheds. If a water drop falls right here, it's not going to go uphill against gravity and down this side of the house. It's going to flow downhill into this watershed. So this roof is dividing the water that falls into two watersheds, this side and this side. In nature, hills and mountains do the same thing, just like the peak of a roof. They divide the water that falls on it into two sides. Water that falls here is going to flow that way, but water that falls on this side of the mountain or hill is going to flow this way. Here in the United States, we have something called the Great Continental Divide. You may have even seen a Continental Divide sign while driving. The Great Continental Divide that ranges from Canada through several states and down through Mexico is like the peak of a roof dividing the land that drains to the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. If a drop of rain falls on the land west of the Continental Divide, provided it does not evaporate, get consumed by an animal, or pulled up by a plant, or other things, it will make its way eventually to the Pacific Ocean. Likewise, if a drop of rain falls on the land east of the Continental Divide, it will make its way to the Atlantic Ocean. When you drive from Farmington to Albuquerque, near Cuba you will pass a sign marking the Continental Divide, and another sign that says, now entering the Rio Grande watershed. The Rio Grande is on the east side of the divide and flows to the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. The San Juan River watershed here in Farmington is on the west side of the Continental Divide and flows to the Colorado River, which eventually flows to the Pacific Ocean. Large watersheds are made up of smaller watersheds. For example, here in northwest New Mexico, the Animas River watershed is part of the bigger San Juan River watershed. And the San Juan River watershed is part of the Colorado River watershed that eventually flows into the Sea of Cortez in Mexico and out to the Pacific Ocean. Here in our Rolling Rivers Trailer portable watershed model, we have two smaller watersheds that combine together within the larger watershed. We have this river over here, and we have this river over here. And they're divided by the hills and mountains going down the middle, much like the Continental Divide. Now using the definition that a watershed is any area of land that drains to the same spot, we can follow the hills and the peaks of the mountains and map the two watersheds so we can find the area of lands that flow into each of those watersheds. So what that means is any water that falls on this land is going to drain to this river or this watershed. Any water that falls on this land is going to drain to this river or this watershed. You can even find tiny watersheds in your own backyard. Next time it rains, watch the water as it travels across the surface of your yard. Even though it may end up all in the same spot, such as a drain or a ditch or the street, how many different paths did it take to get there? 
So why is it important to understand watersheds? Well, when we can look at the land that flows into our watershed, we can help determine seasonal flooding or drought and places that is safe to construct. Also, we can help identify potential pollution sources and manage those sources properly to make sure that our drinking water is safe for us and our community. Thank you for watching the San Juan Soil and Water Conservation District's Rolling River Trailer video on watersheds. For more information, such as lessons or materials, or to ask us questions, visit our website at sanjuanswcd.com. Be sure to check out our other videos and post any questions or comments below. Thank you for watching, and we hope to hear from you.